What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys five more editing tips for all high school filmmakers. So tip number one is edit to a song. So basically a lot of the times, you're going to have music in the background, right? So you want to choose the song, like a lot of the times, choose the song first and then edit to the song. So maybe every beat you want to change a certain shot. But don't overdo this. Sometimes it's good for montage scenes, but it's not always like good to edit to a song. But if you're going to edit to a song, just have the song first and then start editing after you put the song on there. It just helps you edit a lot faster. So tip number two is pay attention to movies. So when you're watching a movie, make sure you're paying attention to like where they're cutting, how they're cutting it. So you're learning the basics of like editing from literally masters, right? So if you're watching a movie, like don't do this all the time, like if you're watching a movie with your friends and you're trying to enjoy it. But like sometimes if you're watching a really good film and you just want to analyze it, go for it because that's going to help you a lot when you're editing because then you're learning from literally like the best of the best. All right, so tip number three is don't be cutting so often. So when I was making CodeNap, like I was just cutting so much in the shots. Like I was doing all these cuts. I think if the pacing is a little slow, I just like freaking cut like crazy. But don't do that. If you're cutting a lot, it's just gonna make it super obvious to your viewers. And like the most important things when you're editing is to make sure they're not noticing it's, you know, being edited. It's just like a smooth story. They're just, the audience are just watching a story, right? If you're gonna cut, just don't cut so much because then the audience is gonna be noticing the cuts and they're just gonna be distracted from the actual story. All right, so tip number four is to make sure you're using sound effects. So a lot of times when you're shooting on set, the sound is not gonna be really good. You're not gonna hear the sound effects very well. So if you're adding a sound effect, it's gonna make your like production value a lot more nicer. Uh, one example could be like when I was shooting their reunion and there's a knife stab, right? You couldn't really hear that at all in the when we were shooting it. So you just add that in the post and it sounds a lot more better. Or another example is like Blue Dusk when the Native American is drinking. Um, basically, you couldn't really hear him drinking at all when we were shooting it. So I basically added a sound effect of drinking and that made it sound way better. Tip number five is to make sure your music is subtle. So basically, what people are watching is not a music video, they're watching a movie. So don't have the sound of the music be overpowering. Don't have it way loud, unless it's like maybe a montage, but like most films, you're gonna wanna keep the music to the minimal, okay? So you don't want the film music to be playing constantly, you know, super dramatic, because maybe like for TV shows, you do that, but like for filmmaking, you don't want to have your music to be super obvious. You want it to be as subtle as possible. All right, so to recap, tip number one is to edit to music and you're basically getting the music first and then you're editing it to that to make it, you know, to make the editing a lot more smoother. Tip number two is pay attention to movies. Basically, you want to learn from the masters and how they cut. Uh, tip number three is make sure you're uh, not over cutting because then that's going to be distracting your audience. Tip number four is make sure you're using sound effects to you know, boost the uh, production value pretty much and make your story come to life more. And then tip number five is to make sure your music is subtle. Make sure, you know, the music is not overpowering anything and make sure your audience aren't watching a music video and they're watching a movie. Anyways, I hope these tips are helpful in your future filmmaking endeavors. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.